type of styles. People have different attitudes toward living. Some seek self-oriented happiness without any consideration for others. To them, happiness means building political or economic power over others. But most of these people turn out to be disappointed in their pursuit of happiness, since man's desire is endless. Nothing can fully satisfy their needs. Other people believe that the first step to attaining happiness is to restrict personal desire. Priests, monks, and nuns are the most common representative of this group. By refraining from worldly passion, they think they are happy because they live their lives in accordance with the religious command. But can anyone without personal autonomy be genuinely happy?